Okay, this is an analysis of um, figures from Strelitz. These, are, I believe, are the Confederates in attack. Um, and just so we understand how the sprues look, this is the way they were out of the box. So why it's important to understand what the variety of figures is um, so you can understand how many quantity of the same pose you have. Here, when I take these away, you'll see that this is one, two, and three sprues of identical figures. So there's, we'll use this figure here uh, with a bayonet and a slouch hat. There's one of him in each of the sprues. So, in a single box, if this is in fact a single box, I think it is, you'll get th three of the poses of each. Which is a little problematic because if you're going to do all six in the front rank of the same pose, uh, you're not going to be satisfied. So, you have to do a little bit of mixing. For instance, this figure right here and this figure over here um, could probably be in the front rank. And therefore, you would have, uh, uh, in a single unit, uh, six figures. Now, remember, taking a figure away uh, for the flag holder produces another figure. So, if you want to look at it that way, if there are a front rank minus one figure for the flag then that gives you an extra figure of every pose so you would have one two uh, you'd have one rank in the similar pose acceptably different let's put it that way pose um, five figures in the front rank with one figure holding uh, the flag or the other way uh, you could look at it is if the figure holding the flag is actually in the back rank which would give more uniformity to the front rank then you see this next figure over here he has also although it's a strange uh, sculpt for the way he's holding um, that um, rifle uh, there are three of him and now the acceptable uh, companion to him might be um, if you were going to keep them all slouch hat perhaps well maybe you can't you may have to go with some kepis and some slouch hats in order to get the six figure front rank so let's just assume for a moment that all these figures we're looking at are front rank only figures and if we were, I suppose the better thing to do would be to cut them from the sprue, although I hesitate to do that because um, uh, painting them on the sprue is always easier. But the fact of the matter is, these sprues have, um, they're so thick, they're almost um, a detriment and dangerous to cut apart. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and snip these guys off because when they're cleaned up they can be put onto tongue depressors uh, temporarily with some hot glue and then painted that way. So I'm going to just start to remove them. And this is of course uh, an extremely sharp knife. So let's just concentrate on that figure for now. Because he does have a strange pose. We'll cut him off and produce three of the front rank. I wish that companies like Strelitz would stop with this large um, sprue business, uh, but their uh, production process seems to demand it. Um, okay, so we have our three figures. Let's try and maybe... Um, find another at least uh, three more that can work with him and the similar figure 
looks like it might be this guy and we would like them to be similar so what we'll do is we'll put the three figures together this is going to be our front rank and for now we'll ignore the flag holder we'll put one kepi in there even though there's more provided we want the slouch hatch the slouch hats to remain so what we'll do actually let's remove all the guys that are in that kind of a pose be they uh, slouch hats or not it doesn't matter so let's just take them all off the sprue and that'll tell us what we're looking at for these guys advancing looks like it might be an acceptable arrangement the two figures remaining on here are so odd that we'll leave them out and the figure with his foot on a piece of, uh, um, on a stone, we'll also ignore for now and not use him because it's an unusual figure. Uh, although there are three of them, we'll um, we'll just maintain everybody else but those guys. So you can see here, we're doing ranks. Of five for now. Let's try if we go to six. And there we have from this single box, we have two red, two battalions front rank. And um, we'll continue. These guys are all advancing. And then what we'll do is we'll put them on a, a base to demonstrate Strelets being Russian company or Ukrainian has provided us a strange bonus figure. The um, uh, Middle Ages era uh, soldier, which is cute and interesting, but a waste. It would have been nice to have another figure from the era that we're purchasing. Uh, it would have been helpful. So although I didn't want to use him I'm actually going to use the guy with uh, advancing with the foot on the stone and the guy shooting with the other guy hunkering down we are going to ignore so essentially like I said we're taking all the men off the sprue so that the demonstration can show one two three four five six that we have in a single box of Strelitz the front rank of uh, several battalions. Why? Because the back rank is going to be provided by another brand or another sculpt from Strelitz. Um, we'll demonstrate that. Men could be shoulder arms marching in the back while the front rank is advancing, bayonets fixed. Now remember the back guy, one of the back rank men is going to either be an officer in order to conserve more troops 
or he is going to be uh, another type of uh, figure. So we have, you can see, some of these guys have already, they are ready, they've been painted on their, their pants have been painted. And we're going to use uh, somebody else for now, where instead of taking these guys from their uh, sprue, we have plenty of, of men already off their sprue. We will use them to show what we have. Now, here's an example of other sculpts provided, some provided by, I think these are all Italeri, as you can see there. Here's a walking guy. But we're not going to use them here because to break these guys away from their sculpts would be to detract from the quantities we have for them. You see, uh, I'll show you what I mean. Here is some of them unpainted, I'll combine. And again, it's uh, actually one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Remember, these are all front rank. All right, so there, then here's an unpainted guy. So we have a front rank there. And you might be asking, well, who's going to be in the back rank? And that's exactly right. Um, we'll have to determine who's going to be in that bank back rank. But for now, we'll show the front ranks because the men are of an uh, exciting action pose or a very well done sculpt. Here's an example right there. You see, these guys from Italy with the slouch hats are very, uh, they're nicely detailed.